Touch touchdown. touchdown. This year, we celebrated the 55th Super Bowl. This year was a year of first for the Super Bowl in many ways. This was the first ever Super Bowl to take place in the hometown of one of the teams playing. Our home team, the Tampa Bay Bucks, have made history. Another one of the biggest changes to this Super Bowl is the effects of COVID-19 on the fan experience, such as the first socially distanced crowd consisting of frontline healthcare workers who have had both COVID vaccinations. In this segment, we will explore the things that make Super Bowl 55 different new and exciting. This year, due to COVID-19, there were tons of precautions taken to ensure that the entire crowd at the Super Bowl would be 100% safe from the coronavirus as they enjoyed the game. This year, the crowd for the Super Bowl in person was around 25,000 fans. In comparison, the Super Bowl crowd in 2017 consisted of 70,807 people. This year had so few fans so that watchers in person could sit socially distanced from each other with cardboard cutouts of fans watching from home in between them. In addition, fans must wear masks while watching the game in the stadium. Another exciting addition to this year's Super Bowl is the addition of a poem. The poet and performer who is reading her original poem for the Super Bowl viewers is Amanda Gorman, this year's inaugural poet. Today, we honor our three captains for their actions and impact in a time of uncertainty and need. This year was the first ever Super Bowl that began with the flyover of three military planes over the stadium. This is both incredibly patriotic and new. In Tampa Bay, we celebrated Super Bowl 55 with the Super Bowl experience, which may not be a new part of the Super Bowl, but was an exciting attraction in downtown Tampa. The Super Bowl experience is a traveling attraction that celebrates the history of the Super Bowl with exciting exhibits, obstacle courses, sports competitions, and tons of opportunities for photo ops. This year also had tons of precautions for COVID in place to keep the guests and workers safe. This year at the Super Bowl, 7,500 frontline workers were invited by Mayor Jane Castor to experience the Super Bowl live in the stadium. Dr. Gwen Wilson, a local pediatrician was invited and honored as a frontline worker. He was a little bit about her experience. So um, what happened is I won a ticket as a healthcare worker um, who had been vaccinated against COVID-19. Uh, and so did many of my friends, but we didn't have seats together. We were sort of throughout the stadium. Um, and everywhere I go, I have yarn and needles because you never know when you're gonna have free time. So we had to arrive really early. Uh, we had a pre-game um, concert with Miley Cyrus. That was awesome. And then, you know, we went to the stadium and sat down. Uh, and because of social distancing and masks, and it was noisy, and I didn't know anybody around, I really had nothing to do but wait. So I thought, let me pull up my yarn and needles and start on my project. And um, I didn't think anybody would pay attention or even care. And then in the second quarter, one of my friends texts me a, a video, a link to uh, TikTok and tells me, is this you? And I thought, oh no, this is going to go viral. And Super Bowl 55 truly was a thrilling one. When it all comes down to it, the Super Bowl is a great opportunity to spend time with friends and family to support your favorite teams. Even if you can't be with them in person during these unprecedented times. Now, let's take the time to look at how some of our Penguins celebrated Super Bowl 55. <laughs> 